One of the more tedious aspects to hard surface modeling is having to go through the process of hand selecting all the hard edges on a given model, especially when you have so many individual parts like you have on this model. That not only applies to beveling, but also to selecting your UV seams. And that's a time consuming process to speed things along in 3D coat. You have the ability to select hard edges based on crease angle. To do that, we want to go to the top of the tool panel under the select tool. We want to make sure that we're in edges mode. And then under the selected section, we can click on select sharp. We will have a dialog that pops up and by default it will have these two options selected. And these will restrict where the actual selection occurs. Do you want to restrict it to just the current group which refers to your retopo layer? If you do you want to check that. Do you want to restrict it to the current UV set? Again you would check that if you do. In this instance, the entire model is located on this one individual layer with a few small exceptions. And this layer happens to be comprised of two UV maps. When I choose only current UV set, when I uncheck that, it's going to select hard edges across the entire model. So if I uncheck that, it's only going to select the hard edges that are bound to this UV set. In this case, it's the head. If I change that to body, once I begin to scrub the slider, I can see how it's only selecting hard edges for the meshes that utilize this UV map. Okay, and I can uncheck only current group. You can see how that works. All right. So once more, you can scrub the slider. The higher you go up, the higher the threshold and obviously the fewer edges that are selected. The lower the number, the lower the threshold. So let's uncheck only current UV set. So I'm going to switch back to head. I want to go down a bit. And this model has some beveling already applied to it, so it's going to look a little bit more cluttered than it would otherwise. But this gives you a very large head start over a process that oftentimes can take several minutes, if not hours. So let's go ahead and try and get as close as we can. I'll hit OK. Now that we have that selected, if we want, we can actually select UV seams. So I'm going to click that. It's going to use this edge selection to select UV seams in the process. Okay, so I'm going to hit Escape to deselect and you'll notice how we now have UV seams where we had edges selected. So that's a quick look at select sharp edges in 3D Coats Read Topology Workspace. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.